Hello, welcome. Question 2a. Giving the vector sp equals m plus 3 in the x coordinate, 2 minus n in the y coordinate, and q also given to 3m minus 1 for the x coordinate, then n minus 8 for the y coordinate. And p equals to q, meaning the vector p equals to vector q. We have to find the values of the m and the n in those x coordinate and the y coordinate. So this is the equality of vectors. So we have our solution. So if p equals to q as a vector, then it implies that 3, sorry, let me bring it down, m plus 3 in the x coordinate, 2 minus n for p should be equals to 3 m minus 1 n minus 8. This is what it means. The equality of vectors. So we are going to compare or equate. So equating corresponding components. Let me write it here. Corresponding component. This is x component, x component. They are the same. So we equate it together. That means I'll be having m plus 3 from the left equals to 3m minus 1 at the right. That's the equation we can get from there. And you see that we have variables. So we group the variables together. The m can come to the left or go to the right. But I can be directed by the coefficient of the m. I see this is bigger. So I maintain it there and send the single one to the other side. Meaning I'll be subtracting m from both sides, adding 1 to both sides. So this is going there. 3, this is coming here, plus 1. 3m minus what? m. We are swapping the position of these two items. So this will be giving you 4. And this will be giving you 3 minus 1. That will be 2m. So we divide both sides. We are dividing through by 2, which is the coefficient of the m there. That gives you 4 divided by 2. 2m divided by 2. Meaning, m will be equal to, this will cancel. 4 divided by 2 give you 2. And we can say that. And also, we are going to equate the y component, which is 2 minus n in the left equals to n minus 8 at the right. Alright, what do we do? Here also I see a negative, so I can transfer it to the other side, bring the negative to come towards the 2. Meaning 2 will stay, negative 8 become positive 8 at the left. This n maintain, negative n become what? Positive n. I think I'll be getting 10 at the left side here equals to 2 of the n. If I have n plus n, that will be giving you 2 of the n. So we still have to divide. We divide by 2, which is the coefficient of the n there. So I'll be having 10 divided by 2 equals to 2n divided by 2. And that will give you n equals to this will cancel. 10 divided by 2 will give you 5. So the values are, therefore, we are going to have m, which we had in the beginning to be 2. Then we have n at the end to be what? 5 respectively. So we add respectively to it. We don't have enough space there. Or let me see. Okay, so I can see values of M and N are we have 2 and what? 5 
respectively. So those are the values when put into the places of M and N, it makes P uh, vectors to be equals to the Q vectors. Sure, the concept is understood. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.